Hey, it's Greg from The Code Creative. If you're looking to learn all about making sounds in the browser, you've come to the right place. In this video, we'll get started with an overview of the Tone.js library, and in subsequent videos, we'll dive deeper into using the library. So what exactly is Tone.js? Well, Tone.js is a JavaScript library that provides a framework for creating audio and interactive music in the browser. It was created by this young fella, Yodem Mann, and it's since become one of the really popular libraries, I think, for working with the Web Audio API. You see, Tone.js is built on top of the Web Audio API. The Web Audio API is a powerful browser-based processing system that allows for complex audio manipulations and synthesis and effects. By using Tone.js, the Web Audio API is going to become a little bit easier to work with because it provides a higher level abstraction. Basically, it makes it easier to create complex musical structures and patterns and instruments. For me, now that I've used Tone.js a lot, I see that it allows us as programmers to approach coding from a more musical perspective. You're going to see that in some of the concepts, such as the ability to enter note values and the usage of a DAW like transport, a built-in arpeggiator, and, and more. Let's talk for a moment about how to actually install Tone.js and start using it. To install it, you can either grab the link from a CDN or you can use a package manager like NPM. And here on tonejs.github.io, you can see the installation documentation here. And here you can see how to install the package. If you want to grab the CDN link, you can go to cdnjs.com and search for Tone. And here you can see version 14.8.49, which is what I'm using in this video and also some of the script tags. And the one I'm using is the minified version here on the bottom. So this would be the more immediate way to get started. And you can just copy and paste the script tag into your index.html file. Now let's take a quick look at some of the features of Tone.js. First of all, if you're on this page, which is tonejs.github.io, you'll see that you get kind of an overview of the Tone.js library. But if you go to slash docs, just add slash docs to this URL, there we can get deep into the Tone.js documentation. And if you take a look here at the different categories on the left, you can see that Tone.js gives us a variety of built-in instruments and effects, including oscillators and filters, envelopes, and more. And you can also create your own custom instruments and effects by combining these building blocks together. Woohoo! So here you'll see a bunch of the instruments, a bunch of the synths, there's a sampler, we have a whole effects category, some of these things you might be familiar with if you're an audio producer or mixer. Chorus, distortion, reverbs, tremolo, vibrato. And then you have some individual components. And the event category, this is really interesting. This is where you can create a looper, you can create different patterns, sequences, arpeggiations. So now that you have more of an idea about what Tone.js is all about, let's move into some actual code and start getting some sounds together. <laughs> 